Game five between the Washington Nationals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. We're going to look at the total for this game. We're three and four in the playoffs. Unfortunately, had a couple tough losses on our, the last day of MLB picks with a couple unders that just kind of thought we got snake bit just a little bit. But I'm going to go back to under the total here between Washington and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Oddsbakers have come out with it at seven, which seems kind of low on paper. But when you start breaking down these two pitchers and their bullpens, I don't see these guys getting over as well across the board at SBR. You can get some really good odds at backing under the total where you can get even a little plus money line going on there on the under. And I think that's the way to go. I think that's a smart way to go on this game here. I think both pitchers are going to pitch well enough and both both bullpens have been fantastic. I'll talk about that in just one second. First, let's go ahead. Let's talk about the Dodgers. we got Rich Hill getting the start. He gets the call. He comes in uh, in that first game. He uh, allowed four earned runs off of six hits and four innings in that loss to the Nationals. You know, he did have seven strikeouts, though, in that span. But what I like is that Dodgers bullpen. They led the National League in ERA this season. And against the Nationals in this series, the Nats are hitting just 167 against them, garnering five earned runs in 16 innings, 22 Ks. That's a really good Dodgers bullpen. I think Dave Roberts will go to them, you know, as soon as he has to, uh, if Hill gets in any trouble. So look for the bull- bullpen to come in and pitch uh, effective enough to go ahead and help us stay under this total. Same thing goes for the Nationals. I'll talk about that right now. But they got Max Scherzer, uh, Scherzer getting the start for them. Also, he didn't pitch particularly well, not particularly bad, actually. He just allowed a couple HRs. Let's talk about in that game one, uh, Scherzer, in that start, he allowed four earned runs off of five hits in six innings. Again, that was you know, mostly due to those home runs. But you're talking about one of the best right-handers in the game, and I think he'll go a little bit deeper in this spot. If he does get in any trouble, though, you're talking about a Nationals team where the Do- you think the, the Dodgers' bullpen has been good. The Nationals have been equally good, if not better, with uh, allowing just two earned runs in 17 innings this series. They were second behind the Dodgers in uh, ERA um, for uh, – uh, during the regular season, their bullpen was. And as well, Dodgers are hitting 159 against them. Again, uh, like the Dodgers, 22 Ks. The Nationals bullpen, 22 Ks. I mean, they're pitching really well, uh, you know, coming up with some big outs. So I like for both these pitchers to pitch well and then hand it off to two really good bullpens. Uh, both these teams, you know, they've got their hits here and there, but I just don't see a high-scoring affair. I think it's going to be a tight one down to the wire uh, with the Nationals coming out on top, I think. But for me, my play is going to be on under the total here in what's going to be a fantastic Game 5, and I wish you luck on your picks today. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts and shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.